administrator here with one of my top students, Mark Crook. Thank you for joining me. Thanks for having me. This is the hot seat. This is going to be intense. Um, no, seriously, congratulations on all of your success. Closing in on $1 million in profits. How does it feel? It's, it's pretty amazing. It's, uh, it took a long time. It's a hell of a journey, but it's all that much more sweet when, you know, as you get closer and, and this is it. What have you learned during this journey? It's about yourself or about the stock markets. Top lessons for these guys. Way, way too many lessons, but uh, top. top lessons is just to really uh, dial in on the best setups, forget about all the noise, and, and as Tim teaches, just uh, wait for the right setups. And, and How do you know the right setups from the wrong setups? A lot of, a lot of studying. Uh, just just looking at the chart patterns, penny stocking framework pretty much goes over those uh, main main setups that you want to focus on. I always say that's my favorite. That's one of my favorite DVDs actually. So. I'm working on penny stocking framework part two. I, I put right. out the intro three hours, but now it's like the patterns. The patterns are still the same. How crazy is this? How old was that guy? Like six, seven years? Seven, eight, yeah. It's the seven, exact same patterns. Does it not feel history repeats? But does not feel weird. Like, didn't you think like the patterns would change a little bit? Yeah, possibly. I mean, I think I think there are they did do evolve a little bit, but but CANN was exact, like exact. We were just pulling that up. GRXXF was exact, more or less. OTCs do repeat themselves right? very, very nicely. So. So shout out to promoters out there, whoever they are these days. We don't know. They've all gone underground and they're like mixing email lists or whatever. But whoever is doing it, like they're like a stickler for history. Like they're like, hmm, this stock is dipping on day three. We should try to bounce it. And the promoters bounce it. And then the pattern plays out. Like it's crazy. We need more. We need more. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even say that seriously. Um, uh, what do you think the number one problem that students are having? Because you help me mentor other trading challenge students and you give weekly webinars and how many video lessons have you done now? I've done roughly 400. 400 video lessons exclusively for challenge students, but what problems do you see them having? Yeah, I think, I think uh, you know, students just de generally aren't focusing on the right place. They're, they're over trading, uh, they're, they're not dialing in on on the pure you know bread and butter setups that you teach and and it's not it's not uh, rocket science i mean these plays uh are pretty darn uh easy to follow if you follow these patterns and, and and they as you said they repeat themselves and i think challenge students especially with all the extra attention and all the extra teaching, I, I, I really challenge you to uh, focus on these uh, exact setups that, that, that mirror the past. And, and if you've seen enough of them from the videos, from the webinars, uh, and, and of course, so even the market mastery sessions that we've, we've talked about a lot of these plays, and uh, that is what will make money uh, in the long run. The rest of the stuff is um, you know, a lot of noise and, and mistakes, unfortunately, can repeat if, you, if you're not eliminating that noise. So you think most people are trading too many setups and they're not getting enough confidence and they're not getting enough profits from the right setups? Right, right. That's, they're uh, getting dragged down by the other stuff. Yeah, yeah. We, we, we had a couple students, didn't we, that, was, that were uh, over trading. Hell, I, I even over traded yesterday, but you know, it happens to the best of us, but. But at least you, yeah. you were over trading on an ideal setup, at least. Some of these students, they're just trading random stuff with random setups and they're getting random results right. and they're wondering why. Right. So stick with the patterns that we teach in our DVDs and video lessons and webinars. You know, I've been doing this two decades now, right? You've been doing this how many years? Seven years. And you're coming up on a million in seven years. That's pretty freaking awesome. Um, if you stick with the patterns that we've kind of tested, you know, like we've refined this, like I'm only bringing patterns to you that I know work more times than not. No pattern works 100% of the time, but we've done the hard work. So some students are like, oh, Tim, I like your patterns, but what do you think about this one? And I'm like, 
I'm, I'm not showing you these patterns because it's fun. I'm showing you these patterns because they work. Like, it's nice that you want to try to think outside the patterns. Like, it's cool that you want to be your own person, but these are the best patterns. I'm not teaching just random patterns. I'm teaching the ones that in 20 years of trading have served me the best and made me the most money. Like, I, I want more millionaire students. Yeah, we talk about high odd setups. And, and, and at the end of the day, this is uh, risk reward uh, scenarios in every single trade. And I think um, the only way we're going to be successful in the long run is, is absolutely dialing in on these high risk reward setups. Uh, you know, otherwise you're gambling. And, and gambling, uh, you know, students going long and short the same day, uh, sometimes, you know, they don't even know where what direction they're looking for. So you've got to dial in on 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 these uh, high risk reward setups that uh, they don't they don't come along. I mean, all the time. But uh, when a sector heats up, we had a we had a student that, that um, I think hit forty or forty five thousand um, from the market master, yeah. and he he pretty much nailed all the pot plays yeah. when the marijuana plays were were heat up, heating up. So. Um, that's what's going to build the counts. Good. What was your toughest lesson during your journey so far? Toughest lesson was, um, I think, shorting uh, too aggressively too early. Um, you know, I am more of a short bias trader, and uh, and I took some some big losses on some uh, low floaters. Uh, and, and there, it's just really tough to come back from these big losses and, and your confidence is, is often, uh, you know, thrown off tremendously. So, uh, you know, I, I can't think of one off the top of my head. And, and this year, and as well as last year, I've, I've actually been very disciplined. Yeah. So I'm avoiding uh, these bigger losses that you might have seen, that I might have seen, you know, three or four years ago. And, and that's made a huge difference, not only in the profits, but from a confidence standpoint. So I've also clamped down on my losses the past few years. Do you think it helps when you have people watching you and you don't want to act like an idiot? Yeah, I mean, I think... Uh, that's what it is for me. You know, I have people watching me. I'm like, I know that, that everyone is like, okay, what can I learn from this trade? I'm like, oh, I better follow my rules because I post every trade publicly as do you and you know we have these students who are looking for guidance they're looking for role models like i don't want to do dumb shit. every now and then i still make mistakes but on the whole my losses have been reduced greatly since i began teaching a few years ago yeah i think um it's always that it adds another element of of uh, difficulty if you will uh, when you're trading live or in a webinar or, or even in front of uh, you know 20 students and uh, and that makes you really uh, all that much more um, picky, selective, yeah. and, and that, that really does make a big difference. What and do you think about my trade today? I made nearly two grand, roughly two grand. Very, Nailed it. Yeah, good trade. There was a good catalyst. Um, you know, Bought the morning spike on a big new investor who has spiked stocks before, John McAfee, spiked MGTI from 50 cents to $5. Now he's spiking, what was it, KCPC? KCPC yeah. or KCFC? KCPC. KCPC, and it spiked yeah. from 50 cents to 370. Yeah, I, I didn't trade it, it's not really for me. I've, I've already grown my account a lot, but for newer students, it's a great account builder, and you know, you only need to take 500 shares to 1,000 shares, and, and you know, made 50 cents to a dollar a share, and that's, yeah. that's what you're We had a student from Long Island who's been having problems, and he made 600, he locked it in, that was good. You multiply that, that kind of trade, $600, do it over and over and over and over again. Sometimes you lose 100 or 200, but if you make 600, 600, 600, and you lose 200, you make 600, 600, 600, then your account is bigger, so you can take bigger positions. So now you're not making 600, you're making 1,000, 1,000, 1,000. Do you think that's a good, Framework. Yeah, I think uh, especially when you're when you're trading a, a small account, uh, you, you you do have to aim for you know reasonable uh, small profits along the way, and occasionally as you do get more experience and when you're more veteran, uh, you can certainly get a little bit more aggressive on a play as you really uh, get. But that's later on. 
Okay, so we'll, later we'll, we'll on, stick for the new the, Later the new on, students. you can get more aggressive, you can take bigger positions, and sure. you can aim for more. In the beginning, I think it's more important, forget just the $600, learning to take singles. Like, sure. he didn't even want to sell. He was like, what do I do? I was like, lock it in, you know? It's, it's good to learn the process. Like, okay, here's how I make five or $600 in a day. And you gotta keep the perspective, like $500 in a day is very good. You lose perspective sometimes. You're like, you make some trades and then some of my other millionaire students make like 10 grand. And you're like, I only made two grand. You know, I'm the, like, and I see your body language and I see the way you're, you're putting yourself down. Making two grand in a day is fucking amazing. Yeah, I think you, and that's just it. You've got to keep it in perspective. Uh, don't worry about all the noise and all the, the other big profits that, you know, other bigger traders might be, uh, you know, making and, and, and I think your time will come as you develop. And that's what this is, is, is giving you the, we, giving you, we do give you the training wheels and we give you the, the, the knowledge and, and, you know, I think the process is, it's not an easy one. Yeah. But it, it's certainly that much easier when you, when you can kind of see what we're doing and what makes the, you know, some of our, our top traders and the challenge especially, what, what makes us successful. And the process of becoming a millionaire is not a fun process. It's not like, oh yeah, let's become millionaires. This is gonna be so much fun. Like the past six or seven years for you hasn't been fun, but it's been made better by understanding when you do become a millionaire, when you do have that kind of money, six figures every year, you don't have to work for somebody else. You came to me, you were working in a cubicle. How big was your cubicle? Was it like this? Or was it a big cubicle? It was about half this room. Not even. Probably a quarter of this room. So you're like a little caged cubicle. Yeah, right I, I, I... Did you like that cubicle? I was fed up pretty pretty quickly. Was it? Did it feel like... I, I never worked in a cubicle. I feel like that would be like, uh, you know, like one of those uh, those little collars, those electric collars. Once you go out of it, you're like, <laughs> you're like shocked. You know, I used to say I was dying a slow death behind the desk. Yeah. And that's what it felt like. But... You know, I'm now in front of my computer behind the desk, but I, I take breaks and I, I do everything on my own terms. And, and that's- And that's you travel a lot and you have a beautiful family too. How's the family? Oh my God, everyone's good. Very, very excited. Uh, we have a beautiful baby girl, 13 months. So. Fantastic, congrats. So Thanks a lot. what are you gonna do to celebrate when you hit $1 million? So we're gonna go and party in Israel and, and uh, we're gonna make sure that you finally get to the promised land. I have not been to Israel. I've been to a lot of countries. I've been waiting for this. I've been, I've been waiting been, for you. I've been trying to, 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 to get you. I've been home, waiting so. for you to get to a million. So. so once you get there, don't force it though either. Like my second, my, my first millionaire student just told me that he was like a millionaire, Michael Good. My second millionaire student, like I was all excited about him getting to a million and I brought like this whole camera crew with me. And we're like, we're gonna get this trade live. And he lost like 50 grand because there was like all this pressure and, and I was like, oh shit, that was the ultimate backfire. Then he did it, we went back a second time and he did it. And now he's, Tim Bertani is closing in on six million in profits, which is insane. Yeah. Remember? Remember when he was just like, just like a little, yeah. a little account. Is Not like, like a little boy, but like a little account. Like a guy with a little account. Now he's made nearly six million. Crazy. Don't force getting to a million though, okay? Do you promise me that? You take it one trade at a time. It doesn't matter if you're at, what are you at, 967,000? Right. It doesn't matter if you're at 967 or a million or 1.1, it's the process. $1 million is a nice like mental, psychological barrier, but don't force it. Yeah, it's just a number. You promise me? I promise. It's you a promise to take it one trade at a time. Absolutely. Whether you make 500 or 1,000 or 5,000. Believe me, Tim, I, I tell myself every day it's just a number, and, and that's what everybody has to think in terms of, uh, you know, you're only good as good as... Uh, as your next trade and and you know hitting hitting big numbers is wonderful milestones are fantastic and uh, you just have to take it one trade at a time and, and everything takes care of itself and that's why I like bringing this up like you know I, I like showing you my millionaire students like these are great guys they're dedicated you guys are studying it's not like luck but don't try to be exactly like them like I share your story and Tim Bertani's story like to inspire other traders be like oh shit like Tim Bertani started with 1,500 of his own money, now he's closing in on six million. Like, you don't hear that very often. You don't hear that anywhere else. 
So it's good to take inspiration, but be your own trader. Your patterns are very different from Michael Good or Tim Brutani or Stephen Ducks, right? Yeah. I think, not uh, very different, but slightly different. We trade very similar stocks, if not the same stocks, but we, we might you know, trade at different points in the pattern. And, and uh, I'm certainly much more conservative. I don't like the, the morning spike, you know, trying to, trying to short into these big morning spikes is, is pretty dangerous, especially in this crazy market. So Stephen Ducks is in the other room. He just made roughly $20,000 this morning. I was happy with my $2,000, then he like 10 times me. What do you think of that twenty thousand dollar trade? You know, that's has been his bread and butter. These 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 parabolic, um, you know, moves on on day one, and it works for him. He's done a lot of a lot of research. And I wouldn't have shorted that SMRT. That's not for me. It's I, not for me either. But so don't feel like you have to take the trade for somebody else. Like we all have different personalities. For me, for Mark, like shorting morning spikes, supernovas. Like I've tried it. It always keeps going on the ones that I short. And he always shorts the ones that just die. And I'm like, I can't do it. So for me, it's like buying breakouts with catalysts or dip buying. You find what works for you. What's your number one pattern right now in 2018? Um, I think uh, it, was, it was buying the breakout on, on, uh, in the hot sectors. And, and the wheat plays, I think, uh, were the, the plays to trade in yeah. the first couple months. I haven't kind of, I've kind of backed off a little bit the last month, so. That's good, because the market has slowed down too. You have to learn to modulate. Like some days, some weeks, like you're trading so much, and then some days, like sometimes the best trade is no trade. You find that's tough with a lot of students to, to handle, because they want like, you know, we're taught to like make money every day, like nine to five, you get paid sure. weekly or bi-monthly, shit like that. Do you find it tough to take a day off? Or yeah. do you find students find it tough? Yeah, I, mean, I think they're always searching and, and, and waiting for the next big play and they're trying to, you know, they're asking for, for, for this ticker and, and that ticker and, and it's just, there's nothing there. And I and actually, one of my webinars I, I recently talked about, and, you know, CDVs, chart volume, uh, CDC, chart volume. I know, volume you catalyst. came out with your own little name. It, you know, it's just something. My so, name is Prepare. It's a little more detailed. But you have CVV, which is or CBC. <laughs> CBC. My bad. Um, Three indicators. But it, it's actually. I got seven indicators. You know, I think I think at the end of the day, you have to have a, a good process of uh, eight indicators of, of determining what's what's good, what's not, and I try to break it down. I try to break it down into as simple terms as possible with the CBC. Uh, again, it's based on on everything we've taught. So. I think students will will have that that challenge to, to really uh, figure out what's ideal, what's not. But over time, I think I think they're going to get it. Cool. Well, congratulations on all your success. I'm looking forward to going to Israel once you cross a million dollars. Let's Absolutely. do this. I promise the line it is. We'll see you there. Shalom, everybody. Hey, Tim Sykes, Millionaire Mentor and Trader. Thank you for watching my videos. I hope that they help you. I want to share everything that I've learned over the years. You can check out more videos right over there. And also click subscribe so that you can watch all of these videos, get that knowledge, and become my next millionaire student.